Hey everyone, Stanley here with the Student Shaver, back with another video. Um, I do apologize last week that I didn't have a chance to film a fragrance video for y'all. So today I am back and I am filming a fragrance video, as you can probably guess. Um, so today I'll be talking about Parfum the Marley Herod. It's the bottle. Sad. And um, this was actually my first um, niche fragrance. And I actually bought this fragrance as when I was watching um, Demi Rowling's videos. Um, she was really big on Herod at that at the, that point. So I'm like, sure, it sounds nice, and it, I feel like it would smell nice. So went ahead and pulled the trigger. I think I bought it for. 200 and something dollars Canadian. Um, Herod, um, classed as a woody spicy composition. Um, I have all my notes down here, so if I'm, if you see that I'm peering, looking down, that's why. And top notes are cinnamon and pepperwood, and the heart notes are osmanthus, osmanthus. Jeez, I can't English today. Um, as I was saying, osmanthus, tobacco leaf, lebdenum, incense, and I actually get a lot of the tobacco and incense. I get less of the osmanthus and the labdanum. But again, I haven't smelled it on its own, so I really don't know isolated what it smells like. So I might be wrong there. Um, its base notes are vanilla, which I really get a lot of. Cedar, I also get a lot of that. Vetiver, which I get less of. And patchouli, yeah, I get a rough same amount of those, and musk. So, lasting power. It lasts about six or seven hours on me. If I'm at an event, maybe f five to six. So it's, although it is a um, Eau de Parfum concentration, or EDP concentration, it lasts about five or six hours on me if I'm moving around, or at an event or anything, this is definitely a nighttime fragrance. I very rarely put it on in the daytime. Um, as I was saying, it is my first niche, first blind buy as well. Um, thankfully, I was very happy with it, unlike some of other fragrances that I blind bought and I didn't like. Um, and semi recently, before COVID happened, I actually went to the Holt Renfrew at Yorkdale Mall here in Toronto and I've had a chance to smell other uh, Parfum de Marly offerings as well and I am still on Herod. Herod is the only one that I can actually, uh, that I personally enjoy but then again I've only sp smelled it on paper so I don't really have a full discovery set um, where I can really Got to try them on skin and because I was trying so many other different fragrances at that um, while I was there, so I <sighs> I didn't really have a chance to smell those fragrances and really and get to know them and enjoy them. So yeah, um, what else can I say about this fragrance? Yeah, I honestly, when Demi Rowling hyped it, when, if you hear any good reviews about it, 95% of them are probably true. I personally like it, but then again, you really have to like a tobacco, uh, a vanilla tobacco boozy fragrance to really like this. Um, so yeah, this is just gonna, just a quick little chat about, um, what I think about Parrot and... If I end up getting a my hands on a full discovery a, a full Parfum de Marly discovery set, I will definitely do a video and smell each of it, every single one of them on their own, and tell you guys. Or I should record that and tell you guys and see if I like anything else or if rather if anything else has changed my mind. Now that I'm not in an environment where there's a whole load of other fragrances that may disturb my nose. Because honestly, I think that day I was just really nose blind and 
I didn't have any what's the word I'm looking for if I didn't have any other fragrances blinding my nose as well I would probably like them a bit more so yeah um yeah that's all I can say about uh, Parfum de Marley Herod right now so I am going to round out this video um, this is a although this is a fragrance video I am it's still on my channel so I am going to give a last um, bounce on my giveaway so today as the day I am recording this it is the 29th of May I am closing my um, my giveaway for my 100 subscriber giveaway I am closing that down on the 4th I will be doing a drawing on the 4th um, so yeah um, last chance to enter and I'll do one more push I guess on Tuesday so next Friday I know there isn't going to be a video for fragrances because I am putting that Thursday video out um, actually Going forward, I'll be putting a fragrance video every two weeks instead of every single week just to, um, again, what's the word I'm looking for? Just to stretch out my fragrance content a bit um, because I don't, my collection's quite small compared to most other uh, fragrance YouTubers. And yeah, so last push for the giveaway is will be on Tuesday's video but I am still giving away a shave stick of Barbera Shop by Purely Skinful Handmade Essentials so if you guys are interested I'll link my 100 subscriber giveaway announcement slash thank you shaves slash where you put your comment in um, just to just so you guys can go and watch it um, check out what the, how to enter the video or rather how to enter the giveaway and everything and I'll do a uh, draw I'll do a drawing on um, this upcoming Thursday so June 4th I'll cut it off at I'm gonna say 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Eastern so uh, I'll actually no 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Eastern that's when I'll be doing the drawing so Come on out, uh, go to that video, uh, put a comment in there, and then hashtag student shaver. That's how you essentially enter. And then I'll be doing a drawing on Thursday, uh, 9 p.m. Thursday. So I will have, I should have the winner out by 10 p.m. that same night. Um, again, thank you, thank you so much for all your support and everything that you've done for my channel. Your views your likes your subscribes your comments um i've enjoyed my youtube journey so far so uh without any further ado i will be wrapping up my video and i will see you guys on tuesday where we are back in my bathroom for another shave video uh i'll see you then till next time it is the student shaver bye guys